52. And did mother not tell you many time and time again not to bother her while she's working? <sighs> Fine. What is it that you could possibly need? What? Again? <sighs> That's the fifth one this year. telling mother. Put up another Craigslist dad. I don't care what you say in it, just get someone out here. Yes. Well, the piranha chihuahua hybrids are not going to feed themselves. No, 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 I can't have one of my many, many androids feed the piranha chihuahua hybrids. Mother's told you this before, they need the loving touch of a human. The androids don't pet them right, and when they eat, they like to be pet. It makes them feel safe. Although, unfortunately, they are ravenous, and the humans do tend to get caught in the crossfires. Unfortunate. Well, like I said, anything you need to say, just get someone here, because today's feeding day, and Mother doesn't do that sort of work. Go, 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 go. Go. Mother has her new swan song. Going to be masterpiece. Cool. <sighs> Finally, we are alone again. <sighs> I've been working on you for quite some time. I can't wait to show you off. When you are done, you are going to take over the world with me. I'm going to show you off to all the world leaders, and you know what? They will bow to their knees. <laughs> because of you, darling. Because of you. Very good. Oh, no, 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 don't worry, I'm sorry, that was a lot to put on you all at once, right? I understand you aren't ready yet. That's okay. You don't need to take over the world until you're ready. In fact, I actually prefer that you prove yourself first, and then I can let you do the big jobs. Before all that, I need to finish you up, don't I? Just need to check a few things. Oh, perfect. There are a few things that I've taken from other androids. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Weapons of mass destruction integrated into you as a being. Hands that turn into laser beams and things. Yes, yes. Okay, and we have vision that can see in the dark and infrared and all that. All the things that have made androids nice and um, destroy -y -y. Yeah. But there are a few things that I have put onto you, and 
they are new and I think that this will be it. <sighs> well. My dear, I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation. You are one of a kind. Yes, one of a kind. Marvelous. Splendid. I can't wait for you to be finished. Mother just has a few more things to do, and then you'll be ready for your debut. Yes, you will be ready very soon. Mother loves you very much, just like all her other androids. I may show tough love here and there, but trust me, I love you all very much. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, I have an android for everything. Yes, absolutely everything. You see, I'm very busy trying to take over the world, so I need a lot of you to do all the various things. The cooking, the cleaning, the passing of the butter, anything that you could think of, I have an android for. I've tried time and time again to make an android good enough to take over the world with me. Many attempts have been made. Some, unfortunately, because I give them AI, have made choices that Mother doesn't agree with, and so she unfortunately has to let them go. Yes, I give them free will because I love you, but I also abandon you if you do not do as I say. Keep that in mind. Yes, I've had many disappointments over the over the years. <sighs> anyway, let's keep working. Let's move our keyboard here out of the way. Okay. You just have a few wires that need to be knobs and turns in the other way, it's okay. This needs to be attached to. That's what happens when you have too much technology in one being. <sighs> oh yes, um, the other androids. I've used them to um, help me blow up the moon, although I never did. I just threatened to blow up the moon. It sounded grandiose and wonderful, yes. Never ended up happening. They called my bluff, the world leaders. They wanted me to blow up the moon. <laughs> well, as soon as they, I knew they wanted me to do it, then I decided that that wasn't my plan. I have other things to do. Okay. This must be it. There. And this part right here must go right there. Hold still, darling, hold still. Hold still, okay. Shh, it's okay. I know it can be quite, um, alarming to see yourself opened up like this, but trust me, you'll get, you'll get used to it. You'll get used to it. I know. The few, f the first few hours of sentience are so hard, aren't they? Oh, sweetheart, mother's gonna help you through it, okay? I'm here for you. Until you mess up, then... Well, then I'll reprogram you for something else. I do need... someone to do some yard work. The front lawn is starting to get a bit overgrown. <sighs> anyway. For now, you are going to help me take over the world. <laughs> you have the best job of them all. Because I trust that you are the best. Oh, I can tell, sweetheart. I can tell. By the way, I just know it. You are the best of all of them. Shh, don't say. Don't tell anyone. Okay. This goes right. Arm on this side. 
Please relax your shoulders, darling, please. I know, I know. The whole world being on your shoulders, needing to be destroyed, can be very tensing. You're tensing your shoulders. But trust me, as I said, I'm gonna have you start out on a smaller project first. And then you can get the hang of things. So, please, untense your shoulders. Please, untense your okay. Good. Now I'm to connect this to... Android. Oh well. Are you sure you'd like to know? Well, he was um, blown up by a platypus. Yes, I don't particularly get along with platypuses. If you see one run the other way, trust me. You think they're just, you know. An animal, and then all of a sudden they blow you up. Promise me. Good. Very good. Okay. I just need to. Do Can you lift your head for me, please? I need to. check your work. It's a, a must for scientists. Evil scientists like myself. <laughs> okay, and then this goes right to here, and that's connected to the, and that's connected to, and this one right here is connected to, and that is connected to, and this red right one's connected to, and that one over there is connected. Just a few 
so nicely. Oh, you are truly my masterpiece. Oh, all the world leaders are just going to <laughs> pay for that insolence. <laughs> when they see you, they're going to run in terror. <laughs> I don't know why they haven't before, but it's because you haven't been here. Okay, and this one is going to do that, to twist that together. There we go. This one here is connected right there. It's ready to connect it. This one's connected right here. There we go. All right. You're dazzling. Marvelous. One of a kind. Goodness. I can't look at you without smiling. so proud of you. Proud of myself for making you, but I'm so proud of you. Yes. And I will continue to be proud of you until you mess up. Right? So, let's check to make sure your face is working correctly. Because I rewired a few things, so... is out of the way and now I can get closer so I can see you just right and we can check and make sure that your face muscles are working correctly right? I'm excited this is a fun part now I'm just going to poke 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 you okay all right you tell me if you can feel it It's all been very, very sad. Yes, very sad. 
looking very good, darling. You are absolutely perfect. Good for you. Alright. Okay, so that is one thing now that I will need to do. You see, you, um, because you are an android, you lack colour in your face. Your cheeks are too pale. I have not added eyebrows or eyelashes either. And although I could leave you like this, I've found in previous trials that Androids that look less human tend to feel a bit self-conscious about themselves And I don't want you to feel self-conscious about yourself because darling you are perfect Right, and I want you to feel perfect and If it doesn't make you feel good, then I want to change it and I want you to feel better. Okay So I'm going to change these things. I'm going to give you a little bit of color going to add on to some eyebrows and um, some eyelashes, okay? All right. Oh, yes, bring them in, bring them in. One moment, darling. It seems my, the uh, new applicant is here. Yes, hello. Oh, yes, yes. From Craigslist's dad. Yep, that's us. Right. Really? Jeans for an interview. You come to interview for a job in jeans. Right. And you find that acceptable. Okay. Yes, do me a favour and stand right there for me. Yes, please, right there. Right, right there. not your job. Maintenance on the trapdoor. See? Look at this. Nothing's happening. Well, get it fixed. Or you will be turned into scrap. Do you hear me? By the end of the day. <sighs> yes, whatever. Come here. You got the job. Yes, you have the job. Um, just follow that thing with the wheels. Follow it. It'll take you to uh, your new job area. Yes. And be careful. I, I just don't feel like dealing with this again. Please. I, I don't have time. Go. Incompetence. <sighs> Absolute incompetence. These things. They disappoint me. And I don't like being disappointed. But you would never disappoint me, would you, darling? Because you're perfect. Alright, let's move on. Let's, um, get you nice and fixed up, shall we? Okay. <clears throat> lipstick. Yes, it came free. You had just had to spend a certain amount and then they sent it to you. And at first I thought, well, I'll just toss that, right? I'll just toss it. But, um, it's actually been very useful to add colour to Android's cheeks. Yes. Yeah. And it's a good quality product, too. It was very cheap. 
Well, obviously it was free for me, but I checked and I was curious, like, how much was it? And it was cheap. It was very cheap. So, lucky for me. Listen, we have tons of money. I've abs- I've rigged many things. I have, I have an android that literally just... Uh, how you say, manipulates the market for um, Bitcoin. Yes, and different types of Bitcoin. Yes, it, the Android it creates different types of Bitcoin, and it calls it silly names like Mooncoin or something. And then it it it, it has. It, oh, I won't get into it, but let's just say we've made tons of money this way. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm going to put the color on your face. Okay, hold still. On your cheeks. And maybe go up. So on your cheeks here. Yeah. And maybe we go up and over. There we go. And up here, above your eyebrows. There we go, above your eyebrows a bit. Get some colour in there. Get some colour. Get some colour in there. At the top here. At the top of your forehead, right there. There we go. And maybe just a little bit on your chin. Make sure to, um, we have to do a double coat because we can't have the same, um, color all around. We need to build a little bit more on the cheeks. Okay, you understand? Okay. There we go. Just a little bit more on the cheeks. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit. A little bit. Looking good. Okay, all right, next. Let's add a little bit of dimension to your eyes because right now they look rather, it looks rather flat as if there's, you know, not much going on. So we want to make your eyes pop, right? I'm going to use the same this because first of all I don't have anything else and second of all um the colors just work really well so okay and there we go hold still darling right there oh, perfect very good very good makes you look innocent actually but I don't know makeup very well so I'm not going to bother with a darker look if you happen to look very nice then you happen to look very nice it doesn't matter how you look you can take over the world no matter how you look you don't have to have you know all the dark features that a stereotypical villain would have you know you could be anyone you could look like anyone right
before the lips. Of course, I need to give you a lip color to make it as if, you know, you look alive. But I don't want you to have, you know, mother's red lip color because it's sort of a statement as in, you know, I'm the one in charge here. Because it, it gives, it's a very dominating sort of colour, so yeah, I don't want people to think that you're in charge. I'm gonna make sure the wand is nice and coated. Alright, there we go. Okay, right there. Or just like this, okay? Don't move your lips. Just natural. Okay? There we go. There we go. Alright. One more idea. Okay. Yes, alright, alright. Lastly, the eyelashes. These also came free one of the wigs that I put on in all the androids. Your hair I made myself out of specific organic materials, but I used to have to use wigs. And this came with the wigs free. They're already sticky. Okay, so I'm just going to put it on right there. Okay, hold it. Okay. Good. And um, this one goes on this side. human being now. <sighs> so as I was saying, now that you are ready for your debut, I'm not going to go straight to um, you taking over the world. Uh, I do need to test you first to make sure that you are up to par because there was something that happened and it was a bit of a... it was embarrassing for mother and um, we can't have that again. The next time I debut myself to uh, the whole world and talking about taking over the world, I need to have a very solid plan and the android needs to be very solid as well. So, The first thing that you are going to do is you are going to help your mother get back at an old colleague. Yes. You see, this is a a villain, just like your mother, who used to be old pals with her. Oh yes, we liked to share ideas about how we would take over the world. It was all fun and games, though. For some reason, out of nowhere, she decided to double-cross me. I don't know why that was. But, Mother took it very personally. Very personally. So we are going to get back at her. Alright. And you are going to help me. <laughs> yes. Well. Yeah, allow me to brush your hair while I talk, because I want to make sure that... Uh, I want to make sure that it's up to snuff and I don't need to uh, change anything. Okay. I have the, the brush here. This is all very um, annoying for Mother to talk about, but basically, a few months ago, Mother tried to, to take over Russia. Yes. Trying to take over Russia. I got rid of the world leader in charge, but for some reason everyone decided to thank me. As if I, I was a hero or something, some sort of hero of the 
situation. Uh, and um, well, this villainous friend of mine decided to tell the other villain colleagues that I was a hero now. That was not the case at all. What actually happened was I tried to take over a country that I thought was very powerful, but in turn I accidentally did something that was good for them. That was not my intention. So, you know, I reinstated the old leader. That was also very evil of me, okay? So if, if anything, it, all that she was telling my other colleagues is false. It's all false. And I just took that to heart that she would double cross me like that and try to ruin my reputation as a villain. Because trust me, everything that comes out of my heart is pure hate. I mean, other than for my children and my androids, it's pure love. But everything else, pure hate. And it's never been, it's been, never been otherwise. And it just, I can't believe her. So we're getting back at her. Yes, that is your first measure. I have the perfect plan. Yes, so. You know, the crickets that have been taking over. Yes, the ones that um, come up out of the ground every 17 years or so. Horribly, horribly annoying. Yes, horribly annoying. Well, I uh, captured a bunch and I gave them um, this thing so that they can breed large speed. Uh, after the second generation they die, so that we don't have any more issues with it, but initially some mass breeding. Okay. And I am going to have you take the jar of the cicadas that I have genetically engineered and you are going to set them loose into the evil lair of this old colleague of mine. Right? So that her whole evil lair will be infiltrated, absolutely filled with these annoying cicadas. She won't know what to do. No, she won't know what to do. Not at all. I'm so very excited. Can't wait for this plan to happen. No, no. The best part is she won't know it's me until she's out of her mind, right? And then, uh, it, it's, it, it'll be only then that, uh, I call her. Yes, on the, uh, telephone. I, I, I'd want to see her face, so perhaps on Zoom or some sort of video call. And then I'm going to reveal to her that her cicada problem was due to me that I am a villain that is to be feared, and that she is nothing, and that she is nothing but jealous of me, and then all the other colleagues will hear of it. Mm -hmm. They'll hear about it, and then they'll laugh at her, and then she'll be so embarrassed that she will have to leave the evil villain scene forever. And you are going to help mother do this, right? Very good. Very good. And then once you're done with that, then we can move on. And then once you do that, then we can move on to uh, ideas for thinking of the world. Okay. I have a few that I've been thinking about. Uh, there we go. Okay. Darling, I need, you need to rest, okay? I just put everything together and, and, and you need to download some things, so do me a favor and go into sleep mode for me. There are a few updates that need to be uploaded, alright? I'm gonna continue to brush your hair, just close your eyes, alright? Close your, close your eyes. Go into sleep mode, okay? Mother will be right here brushing your hair, okay? Alright, good night.